Hello family. So here we are, the 1st of October 2020. September came and went with no major events taking place. Israel signed their peace deal with Bahrain and with the United Arab Emirates. The Feast of Trumpets and the Day of Atonement have come and gone, and still we are here looking for the Lord. About a week ago I felt a sudden deep sort of mourning in my spirit. I was in prayer, and all of a sudden this mourning came over me, and I couldn't stop crying. I felt an urgency to pray for the left behind like we only had moments until destruction was to come upon the earth. I felt that there was absolutely zero time left. I've been called a false prophet for putting out these urgent messages and saying that the Lord is coming now or saying that he's coming at this time or that time, but the Lord gave me the understanding that those of us who are being led by the Holy Spirit to watch for certain times, or when we feel that urgency inside of us, we are not being false prophets. We are trying to lead people to salvation and letting them know that the time for salvation is now and that there is no more time for living life as usual. He gave me the understanding that the real false prophets are the ones who say that he can only come on a certain date, like Feast of Trumpets, Passover, Pentecost. They are only looking for him to come at one set time of the year, and those of us who are looking for him to come at any given time are the ones who are truly watching for him. So with that being said, I had a dream this morning before waking up at 520. In the dream, I was saying goodbye to my husband. I was told by someone that I worked with that it was time to go. I was explaining to my husband that myself and the group that I was working with were going on a trip and that we would be back in a day or two. I'm not sure what that means. I think instead of coming back in a day or two, I think we would actually be leaving in a day or two, but I'm not sure about this, so please pray about that. I've had dreams before where I was saying goodbye to my husband, or we would be separating. This time, it was like we had only a minute to say goodbye, and then I had to go. In other dreams, it was like I had time to pack my stuff and move it out of the house before leaving. After I woke up, I had a sudden urgency in my spirit to get dressed and get to the store this morning. Normally, Thursday is the day my husband and I would go to get our groceries but we had decided to wait until the end of the weekend or to just go whenever we felt like we needed to. However, after waking up from that dream, I felt that I should not wait to go to the store, but that I should go as soon as possible. So I told my husband to take his shower. We're going to the store. He was not happy about this, but he obliged. I explained to him that when the Lord urges me to move, I have to obey. He understood. I don't know if something will happen today or tomorrow, but last week I was being led to watch for the Feast of Tabernacles. On the 26th of September, I was given the understanding that Tabernacles is a mirror of Passover. Now before you say, what? No it's not. Let me explain. Passover begins on the 15th of the first month. Tabernacles also begins on the 15th of the seventh month. Passover and Tabernacles both last for seven days. Both end on the 22nd of the month. The first month of Nisan used to be the seventh month on God's calendar. The seventh month of Tishri used to be the first month until the Hebrew calendar flipped it. This year, Tabernacles begins on a full moon. So when I say that Tabernacles mirrors Passover, I mean the timing. At Passover, Jesus became our sacrifice, and he left to make a home for us. Tabernacles is the message, or the day, when we go to live with him forever. He, of course, is our refuge, our home. On the 3rd of October in 2018, the Lord spoke to me about the connection of months. He said the 12th month is the 9th month, and the 9th month is the 7th month. This year, in 2020, the Feast of Tabernacles begins on October 3rd. Technically, it begins on the 2nd, but the first full day of Tabernacles is the 3rd. On the 21st of December, 2015, I was given a dream about an EMP taking place over the United States, and I was told that it would be scheduled for Wednesday. The Wednesday that followed the 21st of December that year was the 23rd. 
after that, I was constantly being led to 923. So when the Lord spoke to me on the 3rd of October in 2018, and he said that the 12th month is the 9th month, and the 9th month is the 7th month, suddenly I understood that the 923 that he was referring to was the 23rd of Tishri. I was then led to 2 Chronicles 7, 8 through 10, where the Jews had celebrated the feast at Solomon's temple for 14 days. And then on the 23rd day, they were sent home. This year, the 23rd of Tishri is the 10th of October. After doing some digging, I found that the 23rd of Tishri is called Simkat Torah. Wikipedia says Simkat Torah is a Jewish holiday that celebrates and marks the conclusion of the annual cycle of public Torah readings, and it is the beginning of a new cycle. It is a component of the biblical Jewish holiday of Shemini Atzeret, which is the eighth day of assembly. The main celebration of Simkat Torah takes place in the synagogue during evening and morning services. In Orthodox, as well as many conservative congregations, this is the only time of the year on which the Torah scrolls are taken out of the Ark and read at night. On each occasion when the Ark is opened, the worshipers leave their seats to dance and sing with the Torah scrolls in a joyous celebration that lasts for several hours. This made me think of the opening of the scroll in heaven, which has the seven seals. And if it is not to be opened until after the rapture, we would be there dancing and singing, praising the Lord. Also, you could see the scroll being taken out of the ark. I feel that this is a glimpse into what it will be like on that day when we go up to heaven and the Lord begins to read the scroll. I feel that everything that I've been led to over the past five years has been pointing to the Feast of Tabernacles. I could be wrong, but this time it really feels like this is truly it. In August, I was given the understanding that September is the last month, and I believe that that meant that it was the last month for everything to be as normal, so to speak. <clears throat> like it was the last month for us to enjoy our comforts. Then on the 26th of September, I was given the information about tabernacles being a mirror of Passover, and around that same time, I was given the feeling of urgency that we have no time left and all of our friends and family need to be warned about what's coming. Now this morning, I get a dream about saying goodbye and leaving on a trip with my group of co-workers. And then after waking up, I was urged to go to the store and get everything I needed today. I was just reminded that I also was given a message on January 5th of 2018 where Jesus was speaking to me about the rapture, and he was telling me to remember the 15th and the 18th. So that takes us to the 15th again, which is the start of Passover, which I thought he was pointing to in 2018. And it takes us to the start of Tabernacles. The 15th of September was the day Israel signed the peace agreement with Bahrain and the UAE. So he keeps giving clues about the 15th. Within the last couple of years, I remember a sister on YouTube talking about a dream she had where a little girl told her the rapture was going to happen on a day that starts with an S. She believed that day could be Sukkot, Simkat Torah, or Shemini Atzeret. And let's not forget all of the dreams people have had about the rapture taking place at the time when there are pumpkins, Halloween decorations, and also Christmas decorations. The season for these things is here. This is the season of Halloween, and it is the season of Christmas. It is also the season of the Lord's Fall Feasts, and with many biblical prophecies starting to be fulfilled now, there is no doubt in my mind that this is the season and the year of the Lord's return for his bride. I'm not setting a date here. I'm only bringing into focus what the Lord is trying to tell us. The Holy Spirit keeps leading me to the 15th, the 18th, and the 23rd. Sister Darla from God's Gifts says the 23rd is something to behold. She was shown that the baby would be born on the 23rd. Even Dana Coverstone was shown that October is when it all gets started. So I feel that I need to call each and every one of you to pray, to let your family and friends know that you love them, and to warn everyone that the Lord is coming. This is truly it. There is no more time to waste. It is time for the bride to be taken out of here so that there will be nothing left to restrain the Antichrist and Satan's global agenda. 
I hope that you are all ready. I pray that you may keep walking in faith, believing the Lord is coming. Don't let the things that you see get you down and cause you to lose hope. Don't let the things that you see cause you to get distracted. Keep your eyes and your spirit focused on Jesus and let him lead you each and every day. We are leaving. He is coming. I love you, my brothers and sisters, and I do hope to see every one of you in the Father's house. I know you don't know what I look like, and I don't know any of you and what you look like, but I'm certain that we will know one another instantly when we get to heaven. I have no doubt that our spirits will recognize one another. So I will see you there. God bless you, and shalom.